Okay, Tony. Uh, there's some big moves, some moving and some shaking yeah. going on in your life, man. Uh, five kids. Five kids uh, range from 13 all the way down to my little girl's just gonna turn five this year. So, so three boys, two girls. Yep. And it looks like I saw two of them wrestling here. Yes, yeah, so I have three boys here at camps. So, uh, my oldest one's 13. My middle ones, my middle boy's 11, and then I have a nine-year-old son. They're all here doing camps. They've been here. We moved in last Tuesday. And we've been here every day since then. So you went from Col Northern Colorado, like Greeley area? Yeah, I, I coached the University of Northern Colorado. I coached for Jack Mon there. I wrestled for Jack there too. I started my own club called uh, Colorado Elite Wrestling in Berta, Colorado. Been doing that for about the last 10 to 12 years. Um, it was a full-time club, freestyle Greco, folk style in the, in the wrestling season. Volunteer time at a high school there. We won a state, a four-year state title in Northridge, you know. A lot of a lot of kids came through, and uh, it's just been great, you know. And, and decided to move out here last year. My wife and family came out on a trip to South Dakota. We went and came to see Coach Pack. I wrestled for him for a little while in junior college, and we liked the area. We loved it, and just kind of felt right. That this is the place we're supposed to be. Can I just say this? A lot of people aren't moving from Colorado no, to South no. Dakota. And you know, like the immediate thing of people yes. say, why would you do that? Why would you well, uproot your family? Your wife was a softball coach. She was a head softball coach in North Colorado for a while, um, and she, she played for the University of Arkansas. But uh, you know, we liked it out here. You know, we like what coaches Coach Pax is doing. Uh, I'm gonna come in and work with the heavyweights to help him. He needs a lot of help here. Um, he, he's only had one coach help him throughout the years at a time. So this year we're gonna have myself, Coach Pax, and another gentleman moving in. We got three coaches going full staff for the whole time. Um, I'll be in charge of the heavyweights and kind of help them plan duels for Virginia Beach, the Wildwood Duels, New Jersey Youth, youth Duels. VACs, the yes. Virginia Beach one. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and just getting these kids out of here, going off to college is our, is our biggest plan. Um, looking at, you know, in talking to you, like you've had a really interesting, you're from California. Yes, yeah, Southern California originally. I was, I was born in Baldwin Park, moved out to Riverside, and then from there, my wife went to Fayetteville, Arkansas, and then I actually wrestled in junior college in Southeast Kansas, kind of by drop when the big tornado hit right in that little corner area, and then I ended up in Northern Colorado. Uh, you know, Coach Mon gave me the opportunity to go up there and went and wrestled for him there, and then I stayed on to help coach. Okay, so I gotta drop a little trivia on you and some okay. knowledge, all right? All we right. talked about, uh, I told you, uh, Jerry Briscoe. Yes. Jerry Briscoe is, you're Native American. Yes, yes I am. So what, what actually, what, Bloodline. Um, it's called Kauia. It's Kauia. from Southern California. Yes. Okay, okay so you're, he's Chickasaw. Okay. Uh, did you know that Jack Briscoe is the first, Jack Briscoe is the first Native American NCAA champion? I never knew that. I had to drop that on you. Yeah, I know. That I had to awesome. drop that on you. I never knew that. No. Um, so, yeah, being Native American. Yes. Okay, you're proud of being a Native American. There's no Absolutely, question. yes. Yes, I am. So, can you get, get a Creek, Creek Nation shirt on? Oh, this is where the boys played football last year for Coach Ken Markio in Denver. Um, okay. His name is just the name Creek Red Nation was the name of the team. What? It's not even. <laughs> not even in America. What is that all? Someone else has asked that before when they played down there. Okay. Yes. Looking at that, like culture, Native American Absolutely, culture, yes. is that something that you try and like pass on to your kids? We try to, um, and now that we're, you know, we, we moved so far from where I was originally from, you know. It's better opportunity for my family. I, I don't want to go back to you know, Riverside, California, raise my family there. It's just not the same as here. Yeah. It's uh, it's a little different way of life. You know, I grew up a little different than my kids growing up, um, and I don't want to have to go through that kind of atmosphere with their life. So, you know, like I said, we moved kind of further away. We went to Colorado. You know, well, Kansas first, Colorado, and now out to South Dakota. And like you said, why South Dakota? Like, it's, um, you know, we don't have the mountains. But it's still beautiful here. I mean, we every morning we wake up, there's turkey in my backyard, there's deer running through there. The kids absolutely love it. And, uh, you know, it's not just, we didn't just come for wrestling. I came to help Coach Pack. That's my love. That's after my kids' love. But there's also a, a huge Sanford Center, which is also on, on the flow site that you guys went to yesterday. They have great football there. They've got good baseball there. They've got everything that, that's inclusive for my family. Okay, the chances are your kids are gonna be okay athletes. Your wife played yeah, Arkansas softball, yeah, and good. then you know she was a head D1 coach. Yes, head D1 coach. You're, you're a D1 coach. Yeah. You're a D1 wrestler. Well, division, it was Division two at that time. Division, then they made but, it, yeah. uh, and JUCO. Yeah, yes. But you look at that, okay, you're a college wrestler. Yeah. But like you look at that and yeah. like wh how, how do you push athletics and what, what you know, it's your passion. We know that wrestling's yes. your passion. Yes. 
Softball obviously was your wife's passion yeah. for a while. Now it's probably your five kids. You know, we, we push them. There's a fine line there. And I was able to coach other people's kids before my own. And I was able to see other parents, you know, obviously going to Tulsa tournaments, you see dads kind of out of control there. Um, and I probably would have, I honestly probably would have been that dad. You? I would have been before. You're chill, man. You're a pretty <laughs> no, chill yeah, guy. Yeah. Now, but before, you know, I see all these parents, their kids, and and uh, it's just different now. I, I Like, when we came here, I don't coach my kids here. I let Coach Pat coach, Coach Contos, you know, Cody. Um, I try to stay as hands off with them as much as possible and coach everybody else. It's just, it's a fine line. It is. We, we do push them. We expect them to do their very best like any other parent does. Um, wins or losses doesn't matter to us as long as they do. As long as they, you know, they can't be perfect, but we expect the very, their very best. Looking at heavyweight coaches, you, you, you're you like, hey, there, there, there aren't a lot of heavyweight coaches. No, they're, they're pretty it's hard. like I can name them on one hand. You yeah. know, Joel Greenlee. Yeah. And we could say uh, Bruce Baumgartner, who's an AD now. Yeah. And a lot of those guys, were, they're yeah. pretty good wrestling they're guys. They're very good wrestlers. There's not a ton of college head wrestling coaches. No, there's not. You know, you have Kerry McCoy. He's doing Kerry a great McCoy. job. You know, uh, you know Stephen Neal is a great heavyweight. He, I'm sure he goes out and makes sure helps out there a little bit. Um, but to have a youth head coach, a youth heavyweight coach, here, it, it's hard to come by. It is. Um, most of them, you know, can't blame them. They're going to play football. You know, football. It's easier. It's not easier to get in college, but it is scholarship wise. You know, they, there's more opportunities for for big guys. Eighty five scholarships a program. Exactly, and you're you're almost full right every one of them. And everybody's throwing yeah. so, millions and millions, whereas like. You know, wrestling just doesn't get the same budget. No, you don't. Not at all. You know, and you're supposed to be 9.9. Some schools have eight scholarships to give. Some have 5.5. You know, it's rough. It is very rough. But uh, if you're a big guy and you can wrestle, there's a lot of opportunities out there for you. It's a, there's, a, there's many of them. And like I said, I'm, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help these big guys. In. And next summer, we're going to try to get a, a heavyweight camp here. That's the goal. An upweight, not just heavyweight, but upweight camp. You know, the bigger kids. Um, I'm going to try to bring in about three clinics to make it a five-day intensive camp here. At the, at the beginning of summer, just to give them the big guys an opportunity to kind of separate from the little guys because you can still wrestle like a little guy, obviously, but it's a little different. You know, it, it's diff it is different than 125 pounds. Okay. So. Fork in the road, back against the wall. Yes. You got three boys. It comes to junior, senior year of high school. There, <laughs> there is the, the fork in the road is I'm going to go wrestle in college or I got a football full ride scholarship opportunity. What do you say? What do you do as it's, Ultimately, it's their choice. Um, and I won't lie, I tell my guys, you know, to wrestle in college, there's got to be something wrong with you. That is the hardest thing it's I've ever really done. It's really hard. It's, it's, it's like really it's hard. hard. It's hard. And not taking away from football, you know, but it's not the same as wrestling in college. It is hard. I've done both. I didn't do it in college, but I did both in high school. Um, you got to have a little, little, little something wrong with you to wrestle in college because it, it is the hardest thing you'll ever go through in your life. But it's your, wrestling's your passion. We know. Wrestling's my love, and, you know, my oldest son, he loves to wrestle. My middle son, he's very good because he's a big athletic kid. He's, I mean, he's 11 years old. He's 5'6", 150 pounds, but he's that, not short. That would be the guy I think I'm probably alluding to by the yeah. time he's a and junior he, I, I honestly think he will say, Dad, I want to go play football, and that's great. I'll go support him. I'll go watch him. Don't get me wrong. I'll go watch my older son more in college. So, but, <laughs> um, yeah, that's something like, that's their choice, not mine. All right, you got anything else for me? Um, go for it, bud. Hey, man, you you are a nice guy. I appreciate uh, sitting on talking to you, and hopefully we can get back next year if you guys have that. Absolutely, you know, we're gonna you know we're we're doing a lot of big things here. Coach Pat's put the big tents out front to create more space for people to be here. Um, just a lot of things are on the move here. Great things are happening.